Hey there, friends. Welcome back. Life in the Hyam House, and it has been quite the week. We're on the other side of Easter weekend. Had a fantastic Easter weekend. Uh, but then about Tuesday, gosh, we have been getting so much rain. Major storm blew through the area coming from, like, I don't know, Kentucky and Tennessee, across Ohio, across the Ohio Valley. Major rains, like days of rain. We've got significant flooding. We've got power outages. We've got mudslides. We lost our internet. We're okay. We sit high enough up that flooding, mudslides, like that's not affecting us. We did lose our internet though. Um, that just came back on this morning. We had to reboot the system. Um, kids have been out of school since Wednesday. They got dismissed early on Tuesday. No school Wednesday, no school today. We're expecting no school tomorrow because there's still some rain in the forecast for later today and tomorrow. We've had snow uh, just this morning. We've had a mix of like freezing rain into kind of like a wet slushy snow. Nothing sticking, but it's coming down. Uh, the sun's now trying to come out. It's starting to brighten up outside if you can see over there, but it has been two days of craziness. Um, and we have been, yeah, we've been, we've been busy, but I want to show you this. Check this out. All right, look there. So the seedlings we started last week, or I should say the seeds we started last week are coming up. The first tray is looking good. And I got to check to see what is in this tray. I think this is mostly the tomatoes. Yep, so this is going to be mostly all my tomatoes. Look at that. They're coming up. A few in here haven't popped up yet, but you can see they're, they're starting to. So that is almost a whole tray. 72 pods um, have all sprouted. Well, almost all have sprouted. There's one, two, three, four, five, five out of the 72. Now the other tray, uh, not so much. So we got some beets coming up here. We've got a mix of broccoli in here. The broccoli looks great. That came out really well. Uh, we got some, what is that? We got my Roma tomatoes. They are not looking very good. And I think these are tomatoes back here. And they're not looking very good. So we're gonna keep them covered, see if they come in. But my first tray of tomatoes, the broccoli, they're all looking fantastic. We're gonna keep them in the greenhouse. And we're going to start our, nether, our next run of vegetables. And that'll primarily be like peppers and squash and all of that stuff. So we'll get rolling on that. But we got to take care of the animals first. Check out our chickens. These guys are getting huge. They are monster right now. Look at that. They can almost go outside. And in fact... This weekend will be the week three for them, so the older ones can definitely move outside. Um, the younger ones, we're probably going to keep inside for just one more week because they're still a little small. Although the feathers are on, the feathers have come in, so by everything I know and read, they should be okay to go outside. I also have to make some adjustments to our coop. We got to double the size of it so we can get these guys in our coop, or I should say these girls, into the coop. And that'll double our flock from 14 to, quick math, 28. And that is my good goal. My goal is about 30 chickens. So I might still try to pick up one or two more, just so we have that 30. And uh, that'll max out my coop, and uh, probably max me out for a little while. But the hope is, with that many chickens, we get that many more eggs and we can start sharing and selling them. And then these girls can start paying for themselves with fresh, fresh, free range, whatever you want to call it, eggs. So yeah, that'll be exciting. Got some people who are interested in buying them for us, so that'd be really cool. All right, so let's do this. Gotta get to them, gotta get to the girls outside because of all of the rain, it is just a muddy swamp out there. So I think I'm gonna let the girls out and I'm gonna run around for a little while so I can get in there and try to add some dry bedding and clean up the coop a little bit because it is an absolute mess. So, the thing I want to try to do today, if I don't do it today, I'll probably do it tomorrow. I want to get our, our second run of uh, seeds going. I got everything sitting here ready to go. Uh, I brought in already my cups and my planters. 
Some stuff we're gonna do in here, some stuff we're gonna do in the pods. Um, and I gotta get the dirt out of the shed and get that up here because we're gonna need that dirt to plant all those cans there. So, yeah. And I've got an exciting thing to share, but I'll probably wait and share that tomorrow. So, let's get to work. Like I said, lots and lots of rain over the last two days. We actually had to go to a track meet last night and Asher still had a lacrosse game, which is crazy to think like schools are closed, roads are closed. And uh, yeah, they're still doing school sports. I don't get it. But oh well, oh, and check it out. It's snowing. Can't really see it, but it's snowing. It's such, it's such crazy weather. We had such a fantastic week last week, and then this week, it's just been like, you know, whatever. But I think that's just where we are. I think that's, I think that's life in this area. I think that's weather in this area. You can have all, all of the extremes. Sun, clouds, rain, snow, you name it, it comes. You can get it all one day. But, oh well, it is what it is. These poor girls, there's nothing but mud in there. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to let them out today. I really don't wanna let them out all day because they can get into trouble with the neighbors. But I gotta do something to help dry them out a little bit. And they're going crazy because they know I have fresh scraps for them. So let me take care of them, get some food, get some water, and uh, get these girls fed here but because I'm having an issue with the camera I think I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog right now um, and then we'll get into a fresh one a little bit later um, like I said with all the rain and the flooding and everything we're not going anywhere for me the next day or so and so I do want to get this uh, next run of seeds started I may have to wait till tomorrow and then I've got a big announcement that we're gonna share with you guys finally after about a year more particularly, after about three or four months, we have something very exciting. I have something very exciting to share. Um, and it'll th it will affect the vlog a little bit. Um, hopefully not too much. But I'll share that with you tomorrow. So, come back. Uh, I probably won't post until Monday. So if today's Thursday, I'm going to record now. Get it up on the channel today. I'll record again on Friday. Try to get that up by Friday night. I might do a quick video over the weekend, but the announcement video I'll record tomorrow, but that won't go up until Friday, uh, until Monday. So make sure you come back to the channel on Monday and hear that announcement. I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. And there's a way that you can participate and help. We'll make this a little bit more engaging. So, got work to do today. Thanks for watching. We'll come back at you here next time on Life in the Hyam House. Later.